Hi, my name is Dylan. Welcome to my YouTube channel. As you can see, I just found some good flat ground over here. I just pitched the tent and uh, now I'm going to finish the setup. This is the X-Ped pillow that I'm using together with the X-Ped pump, which is really good. But first I'm going to inflate my mattress. I'm sleeping on a uh, Thermarest Neo Air mattress for tonight. It has a really good R, R value. thing I just realized that you don't need an adapter for an X-Ped pump to inflate the X-Term. You can just put them alongside like this and you will be able to inflate the mattress. And for the sleeping uh, bag, I'm using a Payak down sleeping bag. Alright, so let's cook. This is my gas stove that I will try to set up fairly even. So I just forgot garlic. Okay, then I'm going to add some olive oil. Just like that. Maybe a bit more. I'm going to add some chili flakes. Not too much. And then we're going to add lemon juice. I'm going to squeeze lemon juice into this for some acidity. There we go. So to this dish, I'm making a shrimp pasta. I'll add one cube of fish stock or a half of a cube to it. And then I will taste it and see. Put it like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some um, some cream. Quite thick cream, actually. Reduce the heat and stir around. I also got some black pepper that I'm gonna add to this. Just a pinch. Gonna give it a taste. And got some good acidity to it, but we need more salt. So I'm gonna add the last of the stock. Just a little bit. You know, oops, that was maybe a bit too much, but still. I'll survive. 
get that. I'm gonna put this to the side for now. And now we need to boil water for the pasta. Oops, I spilled some, but that's okay. So now I'm gonna crank up the heat and add a fairly generous amount of salt into the water. I hope I didn't add too much though. I'm gonna taste the water actually. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna crank up the heat even more. I'm gonna taste this sauce, which is the base. Oh, nice. Got that acidity to it. All right, so, oof, almost burned my hands. We got a good boil. And now I'm gonna add the pasta. And here we got, I think tagatella. So we're gonna add some more heat. And we're gonna add the pasta. And I'm gonna stir the pasta around to make sure that they don't stick together. Oops. Can you hear the bumblebee in the background? <laughs> oh, that's a big one. I don't know if the microphone can hear it, but... The pasta is, all, um, is almost finished. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna strain the water. I will let it rest here. And then I'm gonna put the lid. Where is my lighter? good amount of olive oil just like that and we're gonna add the shrimps add them like this gonna add the shrimps And then we're gonna add the pasta, just like that. Let's see how I can do this in a good way, in a proper way. Something like that. Okay, we need some parsley on the top, just to give it that extra edge, that extra beautiful taste. Look at this. Hmm? Well, wow. thought that almost overcooked the shrimps, but they became perfect. Some of that spiciness to it, together with that acidity of the lemon, it also has the cream that really rounds the flavors and bring them all together. I would love to have some garlic. It really. It's really not the same without garlic. What a beautiful day. I'm gonna add some more black pepper. I think it's, a, it's so nice to just come out in nature, find a good spot where you can pitch the tent, listen to the beautiful birds. What a nice meal. Wow. This was really, really delicious. And now comes the favorite part, 
doing the dishes. See you soon. Okay, I think it's time for a cup of tea. Gotta have something after a meal like that. Quite heavy meal. I went a bit heavy with the cream as well, you know, so... I'm in a slight food coma. Recovered a little bit, but uh, yeah. Ooh. Ah. Let's see. I'm gonna measure up the exact amount. Oh, perfect. I'm going to have some three ginger tea. That sounds about right. Oh, it's always nice to organize the stuff. One thing that really surprised me is the amount of ticks. Like this is beginning of April and I already removed or brush off four ticks. I think uh, this, this summer is going to be tick intensive. I never experienced ticks this early. It's always been in the summer. Strange. Or maybe not, but uh, first time for me, for sure. <clears throat> I brought two gas canisters just in case of, you know, having that just in case of mentality just really makes it heavy to pack up everything. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. So I just checked the forecast for tonight, so it's going to rain a little bit and uh, I actually bought the tarp and uh, some line, so I'm going to try to make a ridge line and uh, set the tarp up. Okay, that's good. That is solid. I honestly think that this setup took me like one and a half hour to finish. Uh, I had to try different configurations, but this seems to be the one that gives the most cover. So uh, my plan is to leave the tent door open to prevent condensation and uh, to have some uh, cozy shelter when it starts to rain. I'm going to show you how it looks like. It feels good to be able to do knots for the first time. I never tried it, so that's why it took so long, but I think that next time it will go faster. <laughs> this is how it looks from this side. Actually quite cool. Yeah, I like it.
This is the stunning view from the inside. Can't complain really. <sighs> Just made it in time. Good timing. It started to rain a little bit. But now I just stopped. So, yeah. Just packed everything under the tarp. I think I'll go in and uh, maybe read a book or something in the tent. Just take it easy. See if I got any tick bites. It's a special feeling to lay down in the tent and hear the rain. Well, unfortunately, I don't have too much battery left on the camera, so I will keep it short for now. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning. I don't know. I had a good night. The issue was that I slept maybe at 8 p.m. and woke up. Maybe half past 11, I couldn't sleep until 2 o'clock, but after that was really good sleep. And there's no condensation in the tent whatsoever, so that was good. I'm just gonna chill and take it easy and take my time, make some breakfast and have something nice to drink. Yeah, that's the plan for today. So many ticks. Wow. The thing was during the night, every time I felt something itching or something, or you know, I was thinking that oh, it's a tick. Couldn't really get it out of my head. Yeah, I need to get the vaccine against TBE. So now I'm making some breakfast, roasting a cheese and turkey ham sandwich with some hot chocolate. And the weather is beautiful, so I'm just gonna enjoy this. Alright, so I finished everything, I left no trace behind, and uh, it's time for me to go home. If you liked the video, press the thumbs up, leave a comment if you would like to. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.